My name is Kyle McKenzie. I'm one of the vice principals here at LCI. And uh, today we're proud to uh, have a flag raising ceremony, uh, the Blackfoot Confederacy flag here on Treaty 7 Day. Um, one of the reasons we were excited, we've obviously, we've purchased uh, our own teepee. It's quite large, big enough to hold classes in. And we this year have uh, started a Blackfoot Studies culture class. Um, and with our growing population here at LCI, we also have a growing Indigenous student population. And so a lot of them were out here yesterday helping set up these teepees. And it was a proud moment for them as well as a proud moment for us as a school. So um, it's just one small piece of why today is important. And uh, this will be the first of two events. Uh, we will then be celebrating the Truth and Re Reconciliation Day next week, uh, where all of our students will once again be out on the lawn in orange shirts to uh, pay homage and respect to the Truth and Reconciliation process. We, we put in a new flagpole and uh, that will fly the Blackfoot flag as a permanent installation here. Um, we do live, work and play on the traditional lands of the Blackfoot people. Um, and so it's just our way of showing respect uh, to those that we share the land with, as well as the students that come to this school. So they know that uh, they belong, that they are represented and we share this land with them. We are fortunate enough to have Shawnee Big Bull. So uh, she's a lead teacher for the Lethbridge School Division in Indigenous Education. And so uh, we were able to uh, get her services for one class a day, 70 minutes. So uh, she has a student uh, group that is taking her Blackfoot Indigenous Studies class. Um, and it's great. The buy-in has been awesome from those students. Um, they, they really appreciate having a class. You know, just yesterday, a couple of our students um, who helped raise the teepee. That was the first time they had ever done something like that. Um, and it was the first time they had ever set foot in a teepee. And so to have those opportunities for them, for them to explore their own culture and for us to explore it with them, um, it's invaluable. Uh, so last year I had asked, um, why don't we have a flag? And it just kind of got everybody's minds going and we're like, why don't we have a flag? So we kept going from there. We started. I started asking the people that I worked with. I asked all the administrators. Um, then we decided, yes, let's do it. Let's go ahead and get the ball rolling. rolling. So we did. Um, for me, it's a big, it's a huge step in this school to have uh, Indigenous culture within our community, um, within our school. Um, we have such a small group of Indigenous students within our school. So for me, it's a, it's a huge honor to have our own TP. Um, it's a huge honor to have people come in from our community and teach about the different ways of our of our background. Um, it's an honor to have that because it represents um, some of the community that's within the school. Um, it's like the four areas of the Blackfoot Nation, right? Um, it, to me, it's just a huge significance to the school. Um, it stands up. It's like, why can't we be recognized? I want to be recognized like everyone else and I'm really appreciative that the school said yes let's do it let's let's appreciate you guys um, so yes for me it's a huge step having that up I'm very proud to say that we got that up um, I just want the students to remember this day um, to say hey I remember when the black the flag got put up um, I want them to say we were second in the school district to get our Blackwood flag up. <laughs> well, I'm just really happy. Um, just want to thank everybody that helped us to get this going, like Joel and Kyle and the administrators and Shawnee. Like, they were all a big part of helping us get this going. And yeah, 